we want to find the family of antiderivatives of this function right here. So I want to recall from the last video right at the end, we mentioned that the function whose derivative equals x to the n is one over n plus one times x to the n plus one. So if we want to find the antiderivative of x to any power, what we have to do is we have to add one to that power and then we have to divide by that new power. Let's see what I mean over here. We have a term here that is x to the 5 twelfths. So if we want to find the antiderivative of that term, denoted capital F of x, what we have to do is we have to take that x to the 5 twelfths and we have to add one to that power. I'm gonna give myself just a little bit of space here. And we have to divide by that new power. Uh, well, you can find a common denominator here. 5 twelfths plus 1 is just 17 twelfths. So we have 1 over 17 twelfths x to the 17 twelfths as the antiderivative of just this first term here. We can simplify that a little bit further. Get 12 seventeenths x to the 17 twelfths. Okay, let's do it again with this term. We have 7x to the 1 half, and to find the antiderivative of this, we add 1 to the power on x, and we divide by that new power. We know that 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, so we can take this 7 and say that that's the numerator, and our denominator is 3 halves, and we have an x to the 3 halves power. Doing the old copy dot flip on these fractions gives us 14 thirds is our coefficient, x to the 3 half. And if we were looking for a family of antiderivatives of the given function, that just means we're adding c to the n. And I say we check this answer. We can always check our antiderivatives by taking a derivative. If we take a derivative of this function, we have to multiply by 17 twelfths. Well, that's good news because the 17 twelfths multiplied by the 12 seventeenths just turns into a 1. And we have x to the 17 twelfths minus 1. When we take a derivative of the second term, we have 14 thirds times 3 halves, and that's gonna be x to the 3 halves minus one. When we take a derivative of the constant, it's just zero. What do we end up with? We have 17 twelfths minus one is x to the 5 twelfths. We can cancel our threes, and our 14 over two becomes a seven. And the power on x is 3 halves minus 1, which is 1 half. Is that what we started with? It is. So this checks out, and the antiderivative of our function, or the family of antiderivatives of our function, is this right here. As a little bonus for this video, we call the family of antiderivatives of a function the integral of the function. And our notation is that the integral of f of x is capital f of x. And you can throw a plus c on there if you want, just so you don't forget that there's a plus c there. So the new notation here is that this little symbol right here means integral. It means the integral of a function, and that's the same as the family of antiderivatives with the plus c on there.